No centro do debate mundial sobre o meio ambiente, uma região representa a fronteira para o futuro. Amazônia. Tudo nela é grandeza. Maior reserva de biodiversidade do planeta. Uma área que comporta 17 países europeus. Uma das maiores reservas de água doce. Maior província minero-metálica. Uma das maiores áreas de mata nativa conservada. Fronteira aberta para o agronegócio e a pesquisa científica. E uma população que ultrapassa os 25 milhões de habitantes. Ainda hoje, apenas 20% da região foi antropizada, ocupada pelo homem. A sustentabilidade dessa região tão importante para o mundo está intimamente ligada ao desenvolvimento das populações amazônicas. Pará, estado que faz parte da Amazônia brasileira. Sua capital, a cidade de Belém, também é chamada de capital da Amazônia Oriental. Belém recebeu o primeiro Seminário Sustainability Challenges and Opportunities, realizado pela Fundação Getúlio Vargas. Para nós, é uma satisfação trazer este seminário sobre sustentabilidade internacional para melhorar cada vez mais a educação, a formação intelectual do povo paraense. O Antônio Carlos, que você viu aqui, o sentimento dele, tinha um objetivo muito claro, o desenvolvimento intelectual da sociedade brasileira. E vem prestando esse papel de forma brilhante. E ele, então, sabendo que existe no Brasil, trouxe para cá, fez um grande convênio. Então, o ideal aqui, e que você é um idealista, meus parabéns, porque essa parceria tem que dar certo mesmo. Todos gostaram, houve debates, e hoje nós estamos aqui em Barca Arena, nesse passeio fantástico, mostrando que nós poderemos aprender, saber tudo sobre sustentabilidade. Além de discutir o papel da sustentabilidade no enfrentamento da crise ambiental e econômica global, o seminário trouxe uma nova visão da Amazônia para os pesquisadores internacionais. A maior floresta tropical do planeta é também um verdadeiro reino das águas, os pesquisadores conheceram a Rota da Mucura, a caminho da ilha de Sirirituba, na cidade de Barca Arena. Observando a realidade geográfica, climática e, sobretudo, social, uma pergunta precisava ser esclarecida. Por que é tão importante falar sobre sustentabilidade hoje na Amazônia? Porque você ainda tem algo aqui para se sustentar. E é uma questão não só de se sustentar fabulous wealth of uh, you know, bio wealth that you have here of the nature but it's also the sustaining the life uh, of the people who live here so it's a very local issue uh, but at the same time it's a global issue because what you have here very few places in the world have so I think uh, that your the treasure you have here for humanity is of great significance em termos gerais, a região amazônica hoje é uma região extremamente rica e o mundo inteiro tem os olhos sobre ela. O estado onde nós vivemos pela sua riqueza natural, pela sua riqueza mineral e fundamentalmente do agronegócio, onde nós temos a possibilidade de contribuir de uma forma efetiva para o crescimento cada vez mais do país. Sustainability is looking for the future and the quality of life of all generations. So we should enhance and reinforce our objectives towards that, to look for more education and capacitation of people through the Amazonic interests also. Well, the one thing is that everybody feels that the Amazon obviously is belongs to Brazil, but in fact, it also belongs to the entire world. So for us, the visitors who came here, we realized that in fact, the Brazilians are doing a very good job of keeping the Amazon with the means that they have. A região amazônica tem um futuro, é reservado a ela um futuro grandioso, porque ela tem a maior biodiversidade 
do planeta. Ela teve um, um, um papel fundamental no, no século passado, no início do século passado, com a borracha. Mas para ela está reservado hoje a terceira revolução tecnológica que o Brasil deverá fazer, que é o aproveitamento sustentável dos seus recursos naturais dessa biodiversidade. Revolução tecnológica que só tem sentido quando envolve as populações locais. World, people talk about uh, destruction of the Amazon, but still there's a huge part of the Amazon that is being preserved. And the main thing is that we need to protect the people who live in the region, people who have their own culture, they have their own values, and through the years and the centuries they have learned to preserve nature and live in harmony with the nature so it's very important that we learn from the people uh, we learn to respect nature and we can bring this knowledge to other places so that people can understand that sustainability is not only about technology It's not only about financing, it's not only about international programs. It's fundamental that we understand that there are many appropriate technologies that can be applied in regions and it has to be, it has to have a, a lot of local content. It has to rely on the wisdom of the people and the community. They should be involved because um, they are the ones that are most affected and connected to this resource. And we have uh, um, people in the seminars that are from the, the region. And I think it's very important that local people also engage in this discussion, does not be dominated by one country or from people just from one region of Brazil. This is a discussion that should be uh, from, uh, everybody should get involved. Well, the Amazon is uh, one of the most unique places uh, in the world. It's one of two major uh, forest resources, rainforest resources, remaining in the, in the globe. Um, and it's a huge carbon um, so sink for um, global emissions, um, and it's full of biodiversity that you just simply can't get anywhere else. And so um, it's really unique in the globe, so um, it's really important to protect and to preserve and to educate people about the various resources that are here. And this research that we are doing now is about sustainability. It's a problem that uh, we have all over the planet. We have fire in Moscow, in California, in Madrid, and uh, the people talk a lot about Amazon, about Pará, and they know they don't know how rich is this state, how the possibilities, the future of this state. I think the future of Brazil lies in Amazon region because you have lots of water that in a few years you have greater value than, than oil. We have a lots of trees and natural beauty that we need, need to preserve it. And we have professors and researchers that we invite from the best international schools. So I expect them that they will transmit to the students and to all the faculty the feeling they had to stay in, in, in Pará, in Amazonas, because this is the future of Brazil and would be a, an example for all countries in the planet. So this has been a very, um amazing experience to see all of the work that's being done to keep this area pristine and to make sure that it is that it is going to be kept in a way that generations from now people are still going to be able to enjoy this um, and i think that the um, organizers of this conference have been very aware of the need to let everybody know what has to be done And I think that um, this is something that is going to be the future of our children and our grandchildren. And I also think that the fact that Tertullio Vargas is doing this with a local 
institution shows the importance of this topic to people from all over Brazil and not just from the capital and not just for here. And I think that's, that's very important to have this cooperative spirit.